Hello, everybody, and welcome again to the Press Box, a weekly presentation of the Dispatch and the Rock Island Argus, where our sports staff huddles up to kick around the issues of the day. I'm Steve Tappa. This is my boss, Mark Nessler, and March Madness finally upon us. We're close to the end. I noticed you got rid of the old playoff I, beard. Well, it, it served its purpose. And we got Anawan, a, a 1A girls' state right. champion. Profits down, a run for it in 2A. You know, I was thinking about it, and I was, I was going to go the whole Zach Brown beard thing. Well, I'm, I'm working on a but, new one. But that would take forever. <laughs> <laughs> and so I think I'll stick with the Jimmy Buffett, you know, not, you know, shaving. You know, maybe it's a good idea. We should wear ZZ Top beard. There you maybe go. One of these three, you know. Give, and give, we could wear green so we match our, <laughs> our green screen. Give, we, uh, we, give Rockridge a push. With and, with the 3A and the 4A getting into the, the postseason, sure, girls all done. Uh, we're going to take a different tangent. We're going to look at some, some highlights of the past year. Uh, we'll start with what we think it would be our player of the year. And we argue this, whether it's player of the year or whether it's most valuable player, because there is a difference. And you're saying Metro. There yeah, is, yeah Metro, right, right. Big Geneseo. six. We'll go big yeah. six and, yeah, Geneseo, yeah. So what do you think? Boy, you know, it, it, and it's all about your definition. Player of the year or right. MVP? You know, to me, MVP, if, if you had to take one player off of each team, the most important player to his team, I thought was Brandon Vice of Moline. Really? Yes. Now, player of the year, though, I would say C.J. Carr embodies exactly why Rock Island has won five. See, last games. year, last year, I thought the most valuable player, the person that you absolutely had to have for your team was Grant Gibson. And sure. I still think that this year, I think that he contributes so much to the Silver Streaks, gets them, you know, sure. to 20 plus wins. Uh, I can see your point on Vice. Well, and, and with the Genesio double, with too. the double, double, and Himmelman as well. Himmelman as well. I mean, makes it. But I think Player of the that. Year. I think the one who who contributes the most to what your team needs. You're right. CJ Card does yeah. does it all. Yeah. Uh, steals, points, um, you know, assists, uh, unbelievable moves to the basket, and and to help his teammates. And he, and he's quite a humble player. So. I, I think we're going to agree there. And he gets his teammates involved. But I think we're going to disagree on who might be the most valuable player to their team. There's, uh, there's good arguments. Yeah, there. game of the year. Game of the year. We're going to take a different twist, though. Oh, I should say Dan, Daniel Bakerowitz also said C.J. Carr for player of the year. Yeah, so. but he's not here, so. Well, I'll give, give it a clean sweep. All right, yeah, okay, there you go. <laughs> uh, game of the year has to be a game that we covered sure. or that you or I covered. Uh, for myself, I think it's the first Galesburg Rock Island game sure. in which happen. Rock Island was, uh, you know, the best I've ever seen a team uh, play in a half. I outscored them something like thirty-four to seven. Yeah, that was epic, and of course it yeah. was a much hyped game and all those fun things. Uh, me personally, it was Moline Rock Island first time around. Tyler Hall hitting a last-second shot to beat Moline, and I guess the co-game yeah. of the year would have been. Moline upset in Galesburg a couple weeks later at Wharton Fieldhouse. Uh, two games at Wharton that were just uh, down to the wire, uh, last second plays, right. uh, decided it, and both were epic. Newcomer of the year. Um, I would think it would have to be hands down. I, and I'd be interested in what you think. I think we agree. I I'm think thinking Tyler Hall yeah, of Rock Island. Uh, you know, he came, he didn't play a varsity minute as, as far as I know last year. Uh, there are some arguments for some other players. Uh, Tanner Logan. Play well, Sean much, Hanley. Sean uh, Hanley. Tanner Logan much improved, but he did play varsity last year, so sure. not not a newcomer. Sean Hanley, but Hanley really yes. didn't play. Yeah, really didn't play last year because of the injury. Maybe he's the comeback player of the year. Yeah, there you go. Okay, uh, and this is an interesting one. Sports moment of the year. Maybe it's a basket. Maybe it's a pass. For me, it's a basket and a pass. Uh, and if, if, and uh, maybe I just dream, dream, uh, dreamt it. Uh, maybe I didn't see it, but I could have swore C.J. Carr had a behind the back pass mm -hmm. off a of steal. To Trey Sigel down at the other end for a lay-in. And, and if it really did happen, that was it. But I'm pretty sure it did. Moment of the year for me. Wow. You know, other than Anawan winning the state sure. champion for girls, right? We're talking boys here. Uh, I'm going to say uh, Lamont Ross Galesburg. Block, rebound, coast to coast, dish behind the back for uh, a wow. teammate's dunk. So good good I, stuff. Yeah, good stuff. Good we stuff. got championship games tonight, regionals. Uh, and sectionals. Yep, lots so, of games. To, lots of games to get to. Hopefully, you get to one. And if uh, we don't see you, we'll see you back here next week. We'll be there. Place. We'll be there. Not shaving either. <laughs> Playoffs or not.